Shalom. Which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world eagerly call God. Bahashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world eagerly call Jesus Christ. Once again, the true names of the Heavenly Father, his only begotten Son is Yahweh Bahashem El Shah. Also, Shalom to you, uh, you brothers, you Akim that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth. Who's also uplifting the names Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shah. Shalom to you, Akim, you brothers. Shalom also to the Israelite foreigners, the speckled bird, man, woman, the child, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Our forefathers, though you may look like the heathen nations, you're scattered amongst which the heathen nations, as you see on this chart, or the nations starting from two one down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if your bloodline, your lineage goes back. To these people, as you see on this chart right here, through the man, and if it's spirit, bear witness with this word, this truth, and you can receive it to the speckled bird, man, woman, the child. This does apply to you. You are Israelites, though you do look like the other nations you're scattered amongst due to the scattering of these people in this chart. So you will have Israelites come looking like the heathen, but they're indeed Israelites because under the curses of Deuteronomy 28, the 15 verse one down. Their spirit bear witness with this word that they are the sons and daughters of Yahweh Hashem Shah, and most importantly. Their lineage goes back to these people through the men, no matter what they come looking like. If their father is an Israelite, that makes them an Israelite as well. Also to the few, Aquaf, you Israelite sisters that do listen and learn, Shalom, to the elect of the nation Israel, where it may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, whose words going out to Shalom to as well. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you combine, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High Yahweh and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ once again, Yahweh Shah. And um, I uh seen this, and I just wanted to go in on it. What was going on in uh, California dealing with Uber, and I believe it's Lyft as well. And um, you know, it's no way you people are gonna, you know. Let me just play the video. For Uber Eats in the state of California, you may not have a job next week. That's because a preliminary injunction in the state of California has given Uber 10 days to reclassify its drivers and delivery drivers as full-time employees, which means that they now have to provide benefits to them, stuff like paid time off, health care, sick leave, and even overtime wages. But these sort of things take time to put into place, and according to Uber's CEO, they may have to shut down for two to three months. That means that if you depend on this platform for your wages, to pay your bills, to pay your rent. So you heard what he said, okay? They want, uh, you got, you know, the state of California, they want Uber. And, they, I mean, and it was also Lyft, you know? They want Uber and Lyft to um basically, you know, to make the, so what you people, you know, you because people that apply for Uber and uh, Lyft and all these other delivery or driving apps, you know, ride share apps. You know, they're independent contractors, meaning they could they they on their own time. You know, they do the, they pay for their own things. You know, they're independent contractors. But the state California now wants to wants Uber and them to basically turn these independent contractors into uh into uh, employees. You know, like you said, no now they got to uh so that means they will have to give you know uh, uh you know. Health benefits, all types of benefits that you get on certain jobs. They got to do that now. And they're not willing to do that, you know? Because that, like he said, it's going to take time to put that in place. And plus, that's 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 going to cause money, you know? That's really going to cause money for the people that run that, man. The CEOs that run that. Which, let me get a scripture real quick. You know? And reason why, you know... They're doing, you know, the state of California is doing that because you have, if you haven't heard, you know, California as well as all these other states, they're bankrupt. So they're going to try to, you know, squeeze whatever money they could out of any, you know, any revenue out of any, you know, category within that state as possible. You know, you got in certain states property taxes rising. That's them, you know, trying to get whatever money they can scrape up. OK, and it's just another, you know, thing that they're doing, you know. Just let me get, let me see. Yep. This is Proverbs uh, 10 and 15. It says, the rich man's wealth 
is his strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. And they want, you know, these CEOs, especially these 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 uh ride share apps, you know, if you want to call them that, you know, they want, you know, to preserve whatever wealth they have, man. They're not willing, you know, to go that far and make employees. And you also got on the other hand, you got people that don't want to uh be employees. People want to be independent contractors because once you're an employee, you gotta come in, you know, at a certain time, leave at a certain time. You're now under orders by a, a, a boss. You know, they're not willing to do that, man. So basically, it's, it's, it's the worst for both sides, man. You know? Then you, on top of that, now, due to this, they're saying, look, if this comes into play, we just going to pull out of California, man. Okay? And you know a lot of people are out of work. So let me just go back to the video. And to put food on the table... You may have to look elsewhere for the next few months as Uber shuts down its app. Now all of this comes to a head because AB5 has really pushed politicians in the state of California to force Uber to comply. And Uber is doing what they can to fight this new legislation. But lately, things have really heated up and politicians are trying to force Uber's hand. They're trying to force them to do it immediately. Now, Uber's stance definitely does make sense. I mean, it would be very hard to see them switching over their entire business model in one state in less than 10 days. It's just not possible. And according to the Attorney General of California, Xavier Bacara, he would like to see Uber gone. That means that in the midst of a pandemic, a major job provider in the state of California in the United States, the Attorney General would like to see them gone. So essentially he's saying that he would like to see fewer jobs in California now, in his mind, someone else might step up to provide better jobs. P jobs may go elsewhere, but I've yet to hear of a plan from the attorney general to actually provide jobs to the people of California. To stop classifying their drivers as independent contractors, joining us now is the attorney general for the state of California, Xavier Becerra. Javier Becerra, excuse me. Uh, Javier, Mr. Attorney General, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Now, Uber and Lyft's argument is that their drivers don't actually want to be treated as employees because it takes away their flexibility. Is that correct? It's a bogus argument, and the court saw straight through that. Uh, what worker doesn't want to have access to paid sick leave? What worker doesn't want to have unemployment insurance at a time of COVID-19 crisis. What worker doesn't want to know that they'll get paid for overtime if they work 60 hours in a week or 12 hours in a day? It's a bogus argument, and it's what's worse about the argument is that Uber and Lyft try to present a false choice. You don't have to give up those rights and those benefits to have flexibility. There's nothing in California law that requires a company to remove flexibility in order for these people to be classified as employees and get those rights. You know, they trying to make it, you know, sound like they uh, care about your health so damn much, man. That's not the thing, man. They want people, <laughs> they want people in uh, the worst case scenario as much as possible, man. Okay? So let me get, um, let me see. Actually, let me just get to the point, you know? And they talking about. If this goes into effect, which I believe it goes into effect, I'm not really sure what next week he said to some effect. You know, if this goes into the effect, they're going to pull out. They're going to leave. They think mm -hmm. about leaving. Mm -hmm. And then these people, all these people, which is a lot of people that does this, man. It's either people that does it as a side thing or now due to the coronavirus pandemic and all these jobs that's been lost, these mom and pop shops that's been, you know, destroyed. Okay, due to being shut down for so long and, and basically being in debt, okay, these people really ain't gonna have nowhere to go, man. Cause let me get that first. Ecclesiastes the the twelfth chapter, All right? This is uh, I'll start at one. It says Ecclesiastes twelve and one says, "Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth." And this is speaking to you Israelites, okay, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You have a Creator. You have a Savior. Okay, because we in some real, you know, tragic and dark times. Okay, this place is through. But, um, you know, it's sad to remember your creator in the days of thy youth. Meaning, you know, when you're prospering, you know, nothing's really happening. You still should consider, man. The scriptures say, remember your first love. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. But now, you can't, the mirth is gone out this land. Now the jobs is leaving. 
So now you really have no choice but to, you know, hearken, you know? It says, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds are turning after the rain. And the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, which is starting with these elite banking families, man. They're the ones that's trembling. But then if you go underneath them, these different corp corporate uh, business uh, 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 founders and owners, you know, they're losing money, you know. And now that they're being forced to make employees and they got to give, you know, pay benefits and all that, they're not willing to do that, man. So they're going to do whatever. You know, they got to do to keep those souls up afloat. Remember, a, a, a rich man's wealth is a strong city. So this is what they want to do. They want to preserve that wealth. If that means having to cut people off and lay people off, they wouldn't do that. Right? And the strong men shall buy themselves and the grinders, which is your employment, you know, your jobs, cease because they are few. And those that look out the window be darker. And really, Uber and uh, Lyft and all these other delivery apps, you know, that's really the last choice people have right now, okay? Unless your your uh, uh, your job is still kicking, you know, you some big corporation, but a lot of jobs that's that's available still, you know, you'll see some jobs say they're hiring, but for one, people are so far in debt, okay, and they haven't paid rent for what four or five months. They're so far in debt that they won't even be able to catch up. And plus, the job that they had at first, well, it was like a job working as a lawyer, you know, a high paying job, that's gone. So now they gotta work at these 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 low wage jobs. That's not gonna make up for their uh make up for their uh what they were originally making. You know, most likely they bought you know stuff that they were uh stuff that caught that they were able to afford. You know, stuff you know real you know decent stuff. You know, you get what I'm saying. You know, because they were making a lot of money. You know, for instance, like a nice car. You know, but now. The jobs are few now, and now people are, are, are basically pushed to the last option, which is to do, you know, Uber and Lyft. Now this is uh, coming to a halt. Look like it's going to be coming to a halt. So then it says, look out the windows be dark, meaning the hope of these people is starting to, you know, to go down, man. And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of grinding is low, and he shall rise up with the voice of the bird, right? And all the dogs and mute shall be brought low, you know? And... This is all happening right now, real time, happening in your face, you know? If you go all throughout Manhattan, you know, parts of L.A., you have whole, you know, retailers just boarded up, man. Whole blocks boarded up, you know? So this is what you're seeing right now. So really, this is the last, you know, so-called, you know, option for people to do in order to somewhat maintain, at least to eat. But that's even drying up. So let me uh, read one more out of this chapter, then I'm going to move to the next. It's, it says, the fifth verse, it says, Also, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way. And the almond tree shall flourish, right? And the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail, because man go to his long home, and the mourners go about the streets. You know? So, this is, so people are starting to be afraid now. See, people, you got people saying, you know, what happened? Like, how, how all this just happened all of a sudden? Okay, you got people in the combo literally saying that they saying how did all this happen? Everything before February kicked in, everything was just fine. Now all this, okay. But you don't understand your how about Shemal Shah. You don't understand what time it is. See, these people are about to get caught in the middle, man. You know, this is Isaiah nineteen and uh verse fifteen. It says. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which is talking about Americans. This is spiritual Egypt, which the head, which means your what? Your CEOs, your high level of uh, uh, people that you got in high level positions. They ain't going to have a job or tell your, your average person like these people. Branch or rush may do. OK. And this is what's starting to happen. OK, because like I said, that's the this is the last, you know, option on the table for a lot of people. Now, a lot of people wasn't in the Uber and uh, Lyft and all that. You know, but it's coming down so wire, so they really don't have no choice. And now that that's being sucked up, it's literally going to be no work for you people, man. You know, no work. OK, which eventually, you know, you got people fleeing, you know, the major cities, which you got empty, vacant apartment buildings, which is, that's that's uh, uh, also destroying the economy. I believe in Manhattan, they said uh, that, you know, you got 13,000 vacant apartments, man. 
And it's a lot of tags down in my state. A lot of New Jersey and New York tags because they escaping. Like the movie Escape from New York, man. That's happening. You know, so those states are going to go broke, man. And this is what's happening. So they, like I said earlier, they're going to do whatever they can to squeeze any sort of money out of any sort of uh, 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 category or whatever job they got could do. Even if it means raising property taxes, or, you know, doing all this, man. See? They're doing whatever they can to keep this thing up and going, but it's not going to work. And this is what's going to happen next. Because you got a lot of people out of work. You got them printing uh, millions, if not trillions of dollars, which is causing inflation, hyperinflation. Okay, and now you just got you're going to have a housing crisis because now eviction is about to come with this. So you just got a big snowball of a, of a downfall, man. So this is Zephaniah 1 and 10 because this is what's coming next. Right. Let me see. This is uh, Zephaniah 1 and 10. And so come to pass in that day, said the Lord, how about Shemel Shad, that there shall be a noise of a cry from the fish gate and a howling. From the second, and they keep crashing from the hills. You know? How ye inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down, all that they all they that bear silver are cut off, man. Okay? And this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna it's gonna lead to this 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 what I believe is gonna lead to this crash, man. Even your news anchors that, that want to deceive you people into believing that everything is alright, they can't hide it no more. And they're now talking about, okay, this hot is gonna lead to a housing, it's gonna lead to everything bubble crash. Because right now, it's an everything bubble. See, 2008, 2009 recession, that was a housing crash. This thing is going to be an everything bubble, okay? Housing, you know, car car payments, whatever uh, uh, these people are adept in. This is going to be the mother of all crashes right here, man, okay? And this is what this is going to lead to, okay? And so come to pass, at that time, I will search Jerusalem, start speaking to Israel, because the judgment... Start with the house of the Most High, which is, is the Israelites, first, and punish the, the men that are sitting on their leaves, that say in their heart, the Lord, Yahweh will do no, not will not do good, neither will he do evil. And that's what you people thought. You thought the Lord was all love. You thought the Lord was about prosperity. You know, he, he would never do evil to a sin, but it's the Lord doing this. He's putting the spirit on these elites, basically to clamp down on you people so they could push their new world order, which really, the new world order is really the new world order of Yahweh Shah. You know, because he's going to use the least to, to do the clamping down, and then he's going to clamp down on them. Okay, this is what we see uh, playing out right now. And at the end of the day, this is what it's all going to lead to as well. So I'm going to end it with this. They want to get you people, uh, uh, you know, basically they want you people to suffer to the point where you're going to do this. This is Revelation 13, because this is what they want to do right now. And, uh... 16, and he starting about is talking about the elite banking families, cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Talking about the RFID chip. This is what they want to do. Okay, they're collapsing the economy so they can roll in a new system, and it's going to be used. The RFID chip is going to play a, a, a be the key factor in that system. Okay, but they gotta crash this old economy that you that you uh people were used to before you know coronavirus hit, which is gone now. Okay, so they could bring in the new, and this is what they want to do. This is what this is leading to an economic crash. Is then that chip, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. His wisdom, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for is the number of a man. It's Esau Eden, the so-called white man, and his number is 603 score and 6, 666. And this is what they want to do, okay? This is why this is happening. But the Lord, he's going to throw a monkey wrench in their plans because right when they think they got their new order, he's going to step in and they're going to destroy this place, you know? And then the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up. So these things must be in order for good to come, okay? So um, I'm going to end it there. Call Halal La Yahweh by Shemel Shah. You know, Yahweh, right to Zah, this was Edifon, Baba Gasha, Baba Ba, a Baba Ba, a Ba Ha Ayabia. Shalom to the elect, and Shalom to the few Israelite sisters that do listen, learn, and believe. Shalom.